Randy, certainly not the weather to be out on the water here tonight in Excelsior, where the mayor started the city council meeting by acknowledging the drowning that happened last week on Thursday and also committing to addressing the safety concerns of those people who tried to rescue the victim. One of those people, Gwyn Pratt, he and his daughter said that they could have saved Ben Garcia had there been life threatening equipment here at Commons Beach. Public Works said that it hung up those ring buoys two days before Garcia drowned, but there's concern people are stealing them. The council was unsure how to solve that in the short term, but seemed to agree on adding new signage, possibly closing the point here in the sandbar and adding lifeguards, which were discontinued last year. And while there wasn't any action taken tonight, council says it promises there will be. That's my commitment is to uh, to try to lead through this situation and try to uh, really set the best example going forward and set an example for other communities to follow. And unfortunately, it took um, the loss of Mr. Ben Garcia's life uh, to have this conversation this evening, but it's one that uh, we'll address head on. Garcia's family tells us he walked out too deep at this beach and wasn't wearing a life jacket. It took the water patrol a half an hour to recover his body. One long term solution that was brought up tonight at the city council meeting is possibly uh, holding swim lessons, swim classes here at the beach and having future lifeguards be the swim instructors. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Jennifer.